My dear brothers and sisters, we continuously reflect on the priestly prayer of Jesus. And here, our Lord Jesus Christ lifting up his eyes to heaven, praying, I pray not only for this, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. The prayer of Jesus would describe to us that our Lord Jesus Christ prayed for the unity of all Christians. Our Lord Jesus Christ prayed for the unity of the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ praying for harmony in the world. And this is what we're praying every day. This is what also we're asking God to grant us the gift of unity. For the very reason that we always experience this unity, we experience divisions, we experience what we call isolations, discriminations, we experience a lot of form of separations and disunity. And here, our Lord Jesus Christ pray for unity. I pray not only for this, but also for those who will believe me. That they may all be one. But unum say. The Father are in me, then I in me. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the gospel today, the present prayer of Jesus, would also reflect and also give a picture of who Jesus is. A leader. Mark with his great love for his people. A leader Mark with his compassion to his people. A leader marks with his great concern to his people. And a leader who desires not only but only for the unity of his people. And this is also a reflection and an invitation for all of us today that we are praying that all our leaders in the government, in the private sectors, and even in our religious and church leaders, that they may have always have the qualities of that Jesus leadership that is willingly to render service to show care and concern and compassion and to show love and especially my dear brothers and sisters that is willingly to give their life for the sake of many my dear brothers and sisters jesus christ once and for all has given us this assurance for in him we feel in him we see in him we have witness especially our Lord Jesus Christ continuously reminding us to let feel his presence of his love of his care of his compassion of his concern most especially our Lord Jesus Christ has given us an assurance that's going to give his life for us. My dear brothers and sisters, this is also our prayer. We pray, most especially at this time of pandemic COVID-19, we pray for our leaders, our government leaders, our church leaders, those who we look up to, they may always have a heart that is willingly to care, a heart that is willingly to protect, a heart that is willing to guide, a heart that is willing to give their life for the welfare of good. We pray for them.